It's famously said that you don't always get what you want, you get what you need. That also applies to New York City real estate. Here are four different strategies and things to consider on how to decipher what you want versus what you need. I'm Daniel Blattman, and this is Living NYC. Number one, in New York, you pay for the neighborhood first, then you pay for the street, then you pay for the building, then you pay for the exposure, the size of the apartment, and the condition. Finding the priorities and the balance in that can help keep everything in line. Number two, do you want a building with amenities? Do you need a gym? Do you need a roof deck? Do you need laundry in the unit? Do you need a playroom? How is that gonna help you maximize the space that you have in the apartment? And do you wanna use other spaces in the building? Or is it more important for you to get a perfect location that you love the neighborhood amenities? We don't always get both. So understanding where you want to go really affects the bottom line. Number three, price per square foot. Little clue, it doesn't exist. Realistically, it's one of the best ways to have somebody overpay for an apartment. Check out my other video on this because the idea of price per square foot isn't necessarily an effective way to calculate true value in New York City because every building is measured differently. And number four, what is your lifestyle actually like? When we really start to understand what do you want, what do you need, we can really figure out and pinpoint the specific neighborhood that you might actually be more happy in. Because at the end of the day, you're gonna be buying for the next seven years or 10 years or 30 years or year of your life versus thinking about what do you need right now? Are you really looking at that two bedroom or that 2,500 square foot loft in Chelsea? But at the end of the day, you want that 3,500 square foot townhouse in Brooklyn. When you're looking to buy a home in New York City, there are so many different things that are pulling you in many different directions. Social pressure, different neighborhoods, your commute to work, and also your financial outlook on your current life versus your future life. When you wanna talk about what do you want versus what do you need versus what's going to benefit your life, give me a call. We'll find the right path for you and have a lot of fun along the way. I'm Daniel Blattman, and this is Living NYC.